what do you do when you're bored of Madden? You still want to want to play the game, but you don't want to play the game. Well, this is what I call the real Madden curse. Madden suffers from less playability options compared to most other games. If you look at Minecraft, for example, it's a sandbox game. You can do essentially anything you want, whenever you want, with whomever you want, and you don't have to play the game a certain way. FPS shooters have a great progression system. You unlock things along the way. You level up your guns. You level up your character. You get new emotes. Whatever it is, you're unlocking and progressing the entire time. But you see, football season only lasts a few months. Madden doesn't have really any progression besides an arbitrary level up and ultimate team, and that really isn't enough to keep you coming back. So this is how I go about keeping this game fun and entertaining even later on into its life cycle. Number one, Stop worrying about the latest cards. Look, there are new cards released in Ultimate Team every week, if not every single day. And if you continue this rat race of trying to get the newest card every single time, you'll suffer from Madden fatigue. It's too monotonous. It's too boring to just grind for a coin, buy a new card, play with the card for a couple days, and then on to the next one. It's a misleadingly fake progression, and it's not worth the chase. Find cards that you enjoy playing with and stick with them for a little bit, then go about upgrading. Because at the the end of the day when they release new cards usually it's such an incremental difference that it doesn't change the game enough for you where it's worth the stress and the grind that goes into it but you know what is worth the stress and the grind that goes into it subscribing to this youtube channel on to number two. Number two, build a theme team. Now, this doesn't have to be a single team theme team. This can be an all out of position team. This can be your favorite team. This can be your least favorite team. I can't tell you how much fun I've actually had playing with the Packers theme team. And it's not because I'm enjoying playing with the Packers. It's because it forces me to play in an entirely different play style than I do with my Bears theme team. Traitor! different strengths, different weaknesses. The act of building the team itself is fun. So whether you sell your entire team or whether you just grind for the coins and buy new cards, the act of building the team itself is also fun. It can be an all something promo, all zero chill, all most feared, all legends, all small legends, all large legends. It doesn't matter what it is. Build yourself a theme team. You can even do a coin challenge. Give yourself a million coins and try to build a team from that and see how well you can do in a season. Number Number three, you can play a different mode. Now I know Superstar KO seems pointless, there's not much progression in it, but the mode in and of itself can be a great change to the gameplay. People run different plays, they're forced to use different playbooks, you get to try out different abilities, it can actually be very fun. You can start up a sim offline franchise, I've done this and acted as a sim for previewing upcoming Bears games for the weekend. It's fun to try and take the GM's role and build your own team, change your team's future. Try something sim for once instead of running the same plays. Not because I'm against that, but because it can be a nice change of pace. You can even play the yard. No, I'm kidding. You don't play the yard. The game has a gauntlet mode. Even that can be fun when it's not entirely broken. Granted, most of the time it is, but the mode itself can be fun. The point is, if you're an ultimate team player, try running a sim franchise. If you're a franchise player, try building an ultimate team for a couple days. There are different modes and different ways to play this game. You just got to get a little creative. Number four, stop trying to play in ridiculously long six hour sessions. All it does is lead to burnout. You're going to get tired and sick of the game. You're going to find people who are playing the exact same way, and it makes it extremely boring and monotonous to play. Play the game in smaller sessions. Don't bite off more than you can chew and you'll find yourself way less burned out on Madden. It's not one of those games you can grind for 10 hours in a day unless you're someone like Throne. But hey, for the other 99.999% of us, try to play Madden in smaller sessions. Number five, stop spending money on the game. It's like if you drop into a Minecraft world and it's survival and instead you just cheat in everything that you want. What's the point of even playing? What's the point of going caving? What's the point of building farms? What's the point of grinding XP? You can just spawn in everything you want. Spending money on Madden is the same way. Not only do you get buyer's remorse, trust me, you will get buyer's remorse because inevitably the packs that you're buying are going to stink. Hello, I like money. What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? money but also it ruins the progression of the game now you don't have to grind your face off you can buy coins every now and then not that i would endorse that but you'll feel a lot better about yourself if you stop spending money on the game in combination with step number one from earlier where you stop worrying about the latest cards it essentially ruins any progression that does exist in the game even if it's not a good progression to begin with number six try abilities you never run before try el toro whatever the different ability is on your quarterback try quick draw on your running back 
quarterback. Try different receiving routes. Whatever it is, try different abilities. Mix and match. See if you can find a play style that fits to a certain ability scheme. There are different ways to play this game. Yeah, you can be an all-runner. Yeah, you can be an all-passer. Yeah, you can be a hybrid. That's football, baby. The point is, mix up how you play the game to make it more fun, which leads right into our next step. Step number seven, change your playbook. I can't tell you how many times I've felt this game be completely refreshed because I cooked up a new playbook, maybe found a tiny little mini scheme within a practice mode, ran that for a couple games, branched out into different formations within that playbook. Suddenly Madden feels entirely different than it has. Now I know it can feel tough going into online games with people who are running same scheme, bunch, bunch tight end, etc. However, switching up your playbook and treating the game as if you're running different plays can be so much fun. You might lose a little bit and that stinks. It's worth it in the long run and it makes the game feel entirely refreshed. Step number eight, set a unique challenge and stop caring so much about Super Bowls. It's really not worth it. If you lose a game, it's okay. You quit out and you go into the next one. So set a unique challenge. Here's a couple for example. How many yards can I get with a gold halfback in a game? Can I win with no abilities? Maybe I should try a game running all coach suggestions. There are different ways to mix up playing this game that will make it more interesting and if you are that worried about your head-to-head -head season record jump into house rules and play it that way the point is set unique challenges for yourself when you change what you're playing towards or how you're playing the game everything about the game changes when you change what you're playing towards or how you're playing the game everything about the game changes and lastly step number nine find and play with a friend some of my best gaming memories in fact almost all of my best gaming memories are playing with the boys. Now, my best times were Modern Warfare back in the day, hopping into 6v6 search and destroy lobbies. So much fun, right? Minecraft servers, grinding and building until three in the morning on a server with my buddies. The point is playing video games with friends is always better. You don't have to play squads. You can play head to head. You can hop into a small franchise league. Doesn't matter how, but find a friend, find a couple friends, find a small community. For more friends to play Minecraft with, I saw you on YouTube. So, um, want to be your friend? I know I have a squeaky voice. So what? I just want to be friend. I mean, I'm, I'm a really nice friend log on to the reddits whatever it is and try to play the game with a couple people superstar ko is a great example of this played with mmg and ty earlier on in the year and we had a blast it was so much fun it gave madden new life for me at that time and if you're looking for people to play with we're building a great community here on this channel i've got a discord linked in the description that you can join come meet someone introduce yourself you can comment on this video if you're looking for people to play with whatever it is find a friend hop into a game and have a good time i hope these tips help keep madden interested even later on in the year. If you found it helpful, please drop a like and consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one.